We'd like to welcome you to Doe Campbell Stadium in Tallahassee, Florida, where the ninth-ranked Seminoles of Florida State University playing host this afternoon in the first half of our CFA doubleheader to Michigan State University. Along with Lee Corso, I'm Roger Twavo. We apologize for our transmission troubles. We'll tell you that the Seminoles recovered the fumble on the opening kickoff, and Michigan State was able to hold them. Consequently, Michigan State's first possession was stopped here at the 36-yard line, and Josh Butler, the 6'5", 230-pound punter, fifth ranked in the nation right now, with an average of 46.3. He's just going to try to kick it high up in the air. He does that, but it's awfully short. It gets a bounce backwards. Michigan State loses to Rutgers and Notre Dame at home. They are 0-2 coming into this game. Ferguson, the quarterback for Florida State. He was looking for the screen. He's got the whole right side of the field to himself. And what a smart quarterback. He moves to the sideline as Mike Iquinello runs him out of bounds. Ferguson, the senior from Charlotte, the quarterback. The running back, Dane Williams and Dexter Carter. He's a speedster. Terry Anthony and Ronald Lewis, the wide receivers. And the tight end is Reggie Johnson. The center, Jason Kuypers from Winter Haven. The guards for the Seminoles, Mike Morris and Hayward Haynes. The tackles, Joe Iannata and Pat Tomberlin, the All-American 300-pounder. First down at 10 as Ferguson got enough yardage on that particular carry to get the first down. The catch made by O'Malley, the senior from Darien, Connecticut. If we check out Michigan State, John Buddy, Ed Sun, and Matt Vanderbeek, the defensive ends for the Spartans, Jason Ridgeway, Travis Davis, the defensive tackle, the linebackers Jenkins and Kurt Larson coming off Achilles heel injury. Percy Snow, the Butkus candidate, is middle linebacker. Derek Reed, Benson Donaldson, the corners. corners Mike Iconello and John Miller, the safeties for Michigan State on second and six from the 47-yard That's Dexter Carter. He gets a couple to the 49-yard line. It's just kind of been that way for this season. We've had one thing after another, but we're happy to be here with you. Third down and four now. The man in motion is Ronald Lewis. Ferguson gets it to the 44-yard line, and that was Dexter Carter, his running back, and forever will be known for the risky play last week against Clemson. First and 10 from the 44. Carter has it. He's inside the 40 to the 37-yard line, where it's second and four. Ferguson has got his man, Perry Anthony, inside the 25 to the 22 as both receivers to the far side, and that's Lawrence Dossie in motion. Penalty markers down as Carter takes it inside the 20 to the 18. The Eagle proceeds to the wideout with moving. First down and 15. It was back in the 50s, folks. Ferguson pitch back, the reverse. Ronald Lewis inside the 10 to the 9-yard line, and folks, he took the reverse and went 56 yards. First and goal from the seventh. Ferguson going to the far end of the end zone and tipped around and not able. Ferguson just throws it to the corner of the end zone as the penalty against Michigan State. Florida State has had a first and goal situation inside the five. Their wham offense, usually to Dane Williams up the middle. He got it that time, but only about a yard. They're well, not trick plays the bottom, the part of his offense. Second and goal from the one. Ferguson on the rollout, throwing touchdown, Lawrence Dossie, his third touchdown reception of the year. Nice call by the bench. Richie Andrews to attempt the point after, and he's been good on that. That's his 11th consecutive point after in as many attempts, and Florida State draws first blood. They lead Michigan State 7-0. Andrews set to kick off for... Florida State, back deep, Blake Ezor, 26, and Courtney Hawkins, number five, and Ezor, two yards deep in the end zone. We'll get across the 20 to the 22-yard line. Because they got the ball on the 20, and they think they can get a It'll be a five-yard penalty when they re-kick. So Ezor, once again, back deep, and inside is five at the two-yard line. Well... Florida State did the job on the special teams that time as number 15 for the Seminoles, Bill Raggins.
comes down to make the stop. Quarterback is Bobby McAllister for Michigan State. The running backs, Blake Ezor and James Moore. The wide receivers, Andre Risen and Willie Boyer. The tight end, Rich Givasevich. Dave Martin's the center. The guards, Eric Moten and Vince Tata. And the tackles, Bob Kula and Kevin Robbins. with one touchdown, and you can see McAllister last week against Notre Dame struggling there. First and ten from the 19-yard line. Ezor tripped up at the 24-yard line. It was nothing. We take a look at Florida State defensively. Odell Hagens is the nose guard. The tackles, Henry Ostazuski and Steve Gabbard. The outside backers, Anthony Moss and John Hadley. The inside linebackers, Kelvin Smith and Felton Hayes. And the secondary, Deion Sanders, the great one there. And Tracy Sanders on the other side. And then Stan Shiver and Leroy Butler. It appears as though the shaved heads are very fashionable here in Tallahassee this year. Second and six. Ezor's backup man, that's number 18, Corey Pryor, who took the handoff. The films we saw. Michigan State used a two-back offense. Dick Mondre Risen will split to the near side. They need to get the ball in his hands. He's a game breaker. Second and three as Hawkins comes in motion to the near side. Excuse me, second and 14. And that's Pryor, who's driven out of bounds to the 20. And another penalty marker. And once again, second straight hold. But he was last in passing yards, so it's not his strong suit. Third and 11 make it. A blitz that time by Shiver, and Michigan State nearly gets the first down. It's going to be very, very close. Butlin from the 15 gets pretty good wood on that one, as Sanders takes it at the 15. Watch the show. To the 40-yard line. 89, Carlos Marino finally tackles him. Good field position. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. Victor Floyd inside the 30 to the 26-yard line. Victor Floyd was their leading rusher three years ago as a sophomore. That's the end of the first quarter, and Florida State leads it by touchdown. But hasn't rushed for much this year, just 76 yards on 28 attempts as Ferguson throws it on first down, and the pass intended for Ronald Lewis. Thank you very much, Tim. Second down and 10. Smith has it. Inside the 20 to the 19-yard line. But Ferguson was looking for Anthony. Now he goes to his tight end, O'Malley. O'Malley inside the 15, down to the 11-yard line. First down and 10, the ball at the 11-yard line. Sammy Smith, and he has met behind the line of scrimmage as wide receivers split to the near side, and now in motion is number 29, Dawson. Ferguson going deep to the corner, penalty marker. The intended receiver was Lassane, number 88, and then come back. The ball is well thrown because Roger is thrown to the outside away from him, and that way, number six has across his body to cause the pass interference. Defensive pass interference. Automatic first down at the two-yard line. Dean Williams, 49, in the backfield along with Smith. They give it to Sammy Smith. And he is tackled by number 55, the first man to meet him right there. He That's looks very think. tentative carrying the ball. Watch Smith going outside this time. Second down, they give it to Dane Williams, and he's got nowhere to go. He's met by the middle. He can forget about that this year. Well, you can watch him on this one. Third down, and goal from the two. Smith, he trips. He just flat out stumbled Florida State has Bill Mason to attempt this field goal. This is a 21-yarder, and it's good. So Bobby Bowden makes a change in kickers, and Mason knocks it home, and the Seminoles lead it 10 to nothing. As Andrews kicks it off to Ezor, so they send Andrews back in to kick it off, and Blake Ezor across the 35 to the 37-yard line, and that's how that recruiting crew happen. 10.59 to go first half, and they give it to Ezor across the 45 to the 47-yard line, right on the man, man for man. 
just whipped them. Second down and two. And Ezor again with room to the outside. He's across the 50 to the 45-yard line. That's right. They've gone back to it. By putting one back, they put a balanced defense there. First down and 10. Ezor again. This time, though, he gets wrapped up as Andre Rison splits to the near side on second and 10. McAllister going to Ryzen, but he is out of bounds, and it's third and 10 now as Ezor is back in a tailback. Penalty markers are down. Delay by Michigan State, five-yard penalty. Now let's find out who a better man is. That's third and 15 for the Spartans from midfield. Ryzen looking, and it's overthrown. Ryzen was looking right back at Butlin at the 35, low snap, and off the side of his foot. Well, at least Sanders won't be able to return that. As they'll down it at the 23-yard line. Florida State first and 10 from the 24-yard line. Pitch back goes to Dexter Carter. He reverses field and can't get away. As 64 comes up and makes the stop. Dossie splits to the near side on second and 10. And... The man making the reception is Terry Anthony at the 37-yard line. 61,757, the third largest crowd in Seminole history on hand today. They lead it 10 to nothing as Carter takes it. He's got a blocker in front, but he can't get around him. That was Mike Morris who... Second and 10, 7, 23, left to go, first half. Ferguson was looking to the near side, couldn't make a decision, and he sacked. The man there was Chris Sunland, and a third down and 15 now. Oh, he got nailed. I'm talking about Ferguson. The intended receiver was Ronald Lewis. Enough. Tim Corlew, who's a great faker, you saw him last week, and the rush was on that time. Andre Risen at the 32, and he is nailed there. 81, Phil Corolla. 6.25 to go, first half. McAllister in Michigan State and Blake Ezor across the 40 to the 41-yard line. Wichita State dropped football a couple of years ago. Second and three after the seven-yard pickup and Ezor one more time. He'll be close to the first down at, through the air so far on third down and one. McAllister keeps it. He leans ahead, and it looks like he got it. McAllister goes 6-3. Brian Smolenski has checked in. He split to the far side as Marino goes in motion. McAllister looking for Smolenski. He's going to have to tuck it under, and he gets to the 47-yard line to loosen up those defensive backs in field. Second and seven. McAllister would like to throw it. Smolenski is down there and threw it behind him at the 37-yard line in two games. Hasn't caught a pass yet today as McAllister is 0 of 3. Pressure, they got him. And punting, averaging over 46 yards and nearly blocked. And a line drive kick taken by Sanders at the 20. He gets across the 30 to the 32. If he'd have gone for the ball three yards in front of his foot, he would have blocked it. Near Payton. See, he went, he went too close to him. He should have gone out towards the ball. First and 10. Just over three minutes to go in the half. Ferguson going to O'Malley. And 3.08 left to go. First half, second down and 10. Both wide receivers split to the near side with Lewis in motion. Ferguson has got his man, Terry Anthony. He doesn't get out of bounds, but he gets down to the 45-yard line. 2.45 left to go. First half, Ferguson, 9 of 15 for 106 yards, going to O'Malley down the middle in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Second down and 10. The ball thrown out to Carter. And entire season. 2.03 left to go. Down the middle, he's got him. Bruce Lesane makes the catch between three defenders at the 25-yard line. Hurry up offense now by the Seminoles. First and 10, going to the sideline, and the intended receiver was Lesane. In 140 left to go first half, second and 10. Whoa! 
Victor Floyd inside the 25 to the 23. The 126 left to go, first half. Lewis splits to the near side. Anthony to the top of your screen, reverse. Lewis is going to throw it, but he's nailed at the 32-yard line. 64 was the man, Chris Sunlin. And Richie Andrews now, the left footer, is back in to try this field goal. This will be a 49-yarder. All right, Bowden called it right that time. Andrews had missed the first one, a chippy of some 20 yards. <laughs> he brought in his backup kicker, who kicked the second one. And Courtney Hawkins with 40 seconds left to go. Ezor, yeah, he's going to come out with it. He's got a wall over on the far side. He turns it up around the 31-yard line for Michigan State. One timeout remaining. McAllister on the option will tuck it under. Cuts back to the middle. He's got room to the outside. McAllister across midfield. One man left. He trips and he runs out of bounds with 20 seconds left to go on the half at the 45-yard line. Ten to McAllister. Andre Risen splits to the near side on first and ten. McAllister's going for him. He's got him. Intercepted. Intercepted. Deion Sanders comes up with a major league interception. Now watch it, folks. I think, you know what I think? He baits McAllister in the throw the ball. Look, he's just gliding. He's waiting for the ball. He goes up and intercepts it. That is an absolutely perfect play. You could go to a clinic. Nothing wrong with that. 12 seconds left to go on the half. They'll just sit on it. And that will be the final play of the first half from Doak Campbell Stadium in Tallahassee, Florida. And the Florida State Seminoles lead the winless Michigan State Spartans 13 to nothing. No turnovers by Florida State has also helped that attack. Florida State leads it 13 to nothing against Michigan State. Chip Ferguson, the quarterback for the Seminoles, first and 10 from the 33-yard line. Right up the middle to Carter. Across midfield to the 49-yard line. Benston Donaldson. Good strategy. First and 10. Florida State, they mark it right at midfield. And Ferguson nearly trips, handles it to his first back through. And Travis Davis and Carter, 13, the split backs on second and eight. Ferguson going for Anthony and the head coach of Michigan State in danger of starting 0-3 and they have got Iowa and Michigan to look forward to as the Big Ten Conference starts. That was Dossie in motion. Anthony with the reception inside the 30. There is a penalty marker down in line and a holding. And Bowden has got his headset off and he's out on the field. Third down and 18. After the penalty, Johnson has checked in a tight end for the Seminoles. As Ferguson, he just throwing a rainbow up top. The intended receiver was Lawrence Dossey. And went to acting when his college career is over after the performance he put on last week from his 30-yard line. And Miller signals the fair catch. No, he's got it. Looked like he was calling for a fair catch, and he takes it back to the 30-yard line. Well, it's going to come. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. First and 10, 13-14. Left to go. Third quarter, Blake Ezor, who was... The majority of the offense for Michigan State. Get They've got to try to score every once in a while. They have only scored one touchdown so far in two and a half games as Ezor gets across the 35 to the 37. So it's tough. But last year, they were also seventh in scoring defense in the nation, averaging just, allowing just over 12 points a game. As McAllister turns it up and will be very close to the first down, and it appears as though that Six foot three inch frame. McAllister's speed and quickness to the outside. 21, Scott Selzer's checked in. He's eight yards deep as he'll lead McAllister as he turns it up across the 45 to the 47 yard line. This is the final game of that suspension. Number 30, the ball carrier Highland Hickson. And Hickson, who is from Fort Lauderdale, uh, gets inside the 45 to 60. Sounds like a running back, Highland Hickson. First and 10. Ezor is back in there, and he struggles to the 40. Florida State leads it 13 to nothing. 
Dixon. Still battling and finally stopped at the 38-yard line. Andre Risen, number one, splits to the near side. Willie Boyer, 17, to the top of your screen on third and six. And over the top is Sanders, and that's going to be an interference call. Risen was the intended receiver. Quarterback's on his back. He never gets to see it. First and ten. Michigan State from the 25-yard line. McAllister going to the end zone. Risen at the five. Look at the run. Touchdown. 25 yards on the touchdown pass from McAllister, his first completion of the day to Andre Risen. Who Langlow to attempt the point after. Bad snap. He gets the ball down. The kick is up, and it's good. So Langlow with just his second extra point attempt this year. And Michigan State is on the board. They trail it 13-7. By Seagram's Coolers, this is where the fun starts. And by United Van Lines, where the quality shows in every move we make. Florida State's Dexter Carter to the 47-yard line. First and 10, good field position once again as Lewis comes in motion to the near side. And that's Dexter Carter inside the 45 to the 44. Lassane splits to the near side on second and two. Carter again, cuts back. He'll have enough for the first down at the 41-yard line. 8.20, left to go, third quarter. Ferguson, Lassane at the 22. He falls to the 20-yard line. That's Florida State on the move now with 7.54 to go. Third quarter, both Anthony and Lewis split to the far side as Dexter Carter eludes one tackler and does a great job to get to the 16 in a gain of about four. Second down and six. Ferguson, 12 of 22 for 147 yards. He's going to Anthony and he underthrows him. When he came here, they had four victories in the previous three years. And he has turned it around. Third and six now. Ferguson looking for Anthony again. He's got him at the eight-yard line. That's enough for the first down. First and goal from the eight. 7-13 to go. Third quarter. Dexter Carter. He gets a couple. One up the middle of that time. And second and seven. Ferguson, Larson chasing him. Doesn't get him. And finally, he turns around and throws it right at the feet of Dane Williams. But a penalty mark is going to go down. Williams was definitely there. Rounding on the offense. That's a bad call because that ball was thrown right at the feet of 49. <laughs> 6.30 left to go, third quarter. It's coming near side to Carter, and he's knocked out at the 15-yard line. It's Bill Mason. Now, this was the youngster who came in for Andrews and made the short field goal. This one will be from 31 yards. This is second field goal attempt ever, and he misses it. So now Bowden's playing musical field goal kickers. And 6.22 to go, third quarter. McAllister has a first and 10 from the 20. Ezor up the middle and a stop. Loses maybe a yard. Ezor is the lone setback. Courtney Hawkins in motion to the far side. They're reversing it. Hawkins is coming and he's got a wall. Hawkins across the 40 to the 42 yard line. And George Perla says to Bobby Bowden, take that. And the crowd's getting back into it. First and 10 for the Spartans from the 42-yard line. Blake Ezor to the 45. He was tripped up. 53 was the man. Five minutes to go, third quarter. Second and seven. Highland Hickson is the lone setback. McAllister and broken up on the far side. Highland Hickson, the lone setback. McAllister with a lot of pressure. And he's finally brought down at the 42-yard line. Hagen's 53, and he doesn't get it. Nearly blocked and might have gotten a piece of it. And Sanders will take it at the 11. 
Look at this quickness. Look at this quickness. To the 30-yard line, Deion Sanders, first and 10 from the 30-yard line. Sammy Smith is back in there. Smith across the 35 to the 38-yard line. And now, 3.6 grade point average for Ionata and economics. Second and three. Ball carrier. He likes that running back stuff. Good point. First and ten, Florida State. Ferguson down the middle. He's got O'Malley to the 35-yard line. Tom O'Malley and Smith 33 in the eye on first and ten with 2.12 to go. Third quarter. Pretty good play action that time. Handoff got a couple of yards. And Washington leading San Jose State by a touchdown. Second and eight. Ferguson going outside. That's the same. Lassane pulled down by Derek Reed at the 20-yard line. He knows how to use his lineman effectively. First and 10 with just over a minute to go in the third. And Smith inside the 20 to the 19-yard line. Michigan State is playing great defense right now. Lewis split to the near side, and that's where they'll go. You can almost bank on it. One of the best teams defensively. Number one in the nation last year against the run, and number two in total yards allowed. Third down and eight. Plenty of time. Now he holds on to it and he sacked. 55, Jason Ridgeway was the man that got him. We've got a timeout on the field. And we'll return to Tallahassee in a moment. On a fourth down and 12 with Richie Andrews. He made one from 49, but he missed one earlier from 22. This one, 39 yards. And it's good. So Richie Andrews, who came into this game just one of four in field goals, but the big one to beat Clemson last week is connected on two out of three. It's amazing how you put another kicker in there, and the, the guy, your regular guy, gets better all of a sudden. I'll football example. I'll give you an example in a second. Hawkins will take it at the nine. And down there in a hurry was number 31, Marion Butts. Oh. Lafayette beat Columbia 49 to 3. Sorry about that. Ezor tripped up behind the line of scrimmage. Second and nine. Intercepted. Intercepted by Leroy Butler. Touchdown. They signal touchdown. I thought he stepped out of bounds at the four-yard line. Now watch closely because it looked like from up here that he stepped out of bounds. Official was looking at it right there. No. No. He got in there. Call. Good call. Good call by the official. Andrews, the point after, he's got it. And all of a sudden, ten quick points for the Seminoles of Florida State, and they lead Michigan State 23-7. 23-7, and Courtney Hawkins at the one-yard line will bring it back. And he was stuck at the 16 but from Dearborn, Michigan, who completed all five of his pass attempts last week, is in the game right now. And he rolls out to the near side, will turn it upfield across the 20 to the 25-yard line. So Enos with a carry, and right, first and 10. From the 25-yard line, and Enos is stuck. 78, Eric Hayes came busting through with 1250. Left to go in the football game. Ezor, he gets some tough yards up to the 25-yard line, but they just have not been able to get anything going through the air on third down and 11. And they hand it off. Highland Hickson, number 30, on a third and 11. Off the side of his foot. And Butler is going to let it bounce and picks it up. Butler across the 45 to the 46-yard line. Now, Florida State with 11.38 left to go. First and 10 from the 46-yard line. Ferguson will hand it to Sammy Smith, who takes it outside. 
and turns it inside. And enough for the first down at the 41-yard line. 11-29 left to go in the football game. Florida State leads at 23-7. And Smith will come to the left side. Big Sammy Smith down to the 30 six-yard line. Those sort of backs, they get, they're at their best in the fourth quarter. Second and three. Smith again. Smith inside the 35 to the 33. He'll be close to the first down. <laughs> Third down and one. Ferguson's gonna throw it. He's got his man. That's Ronald Lewis. Inside the 20 to the 17-yard line. 15 yards on the... The ball at the 18-yard line. Ferguson has it intercepted. Kurt Larson with a great interception, his second of the year. And that time, Ferguson was looking in the far corner for Ronald Lewis. Watch number three right here. Dri dives way up, gets it one-handed, and brings it down. Great concentration, a tremendous play by Kurt Larson. You know why? He was an excellent basketball player. He's had an Achilles tendon and a reconstructed left knee in the last two years. So Michigan State with some life now. Dan Enos, the quarterback, and he hands it to Hickson, who goes over the top and to the 24-yard line throughout the season. Second and three. That is Corey Pryor. And Pryor should have enough for the first down up at the 28-yard line. Clock continues to run with 8.32 left in this football game from Doak Campbell Stadium in Tallahassee. Enos finally decides to run with it, and a penalty marker is down. You got to figure that's going to be a holding call, as he had plenty of time. And he went to the Rose Bowl last year, Michigan State. That's a good question. Enos will turn it up and run with it. And he's across the 35 to the 36. 20 left to go in this game, second down and two for Michigan State. Hickson, he is stuck. He might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. Third down and two. Full house backfield. Enos across the 40, and that will be enough for the first down. You're not going to get back into the thing. Blitz coming up by Florida State. Enos is nailed, 93, Shelton Thompson was the man that got him, but McAllister and Enos four times for 25 yards so far. Pass intended for Rich Gusevich, the tight end. Last year, uh, they opened up Michigan State with a win against Southern Cal and then lost to Notre Dame and to Florida State, and then won the remaining of the games with the Big Tens and then to the Rose Bowl. Enos is nailed. Fifth sack of the day, and it was 89 at the 40. Blocked. Blocked by Florida State. 28, Derek Dodge. 28, Derek Dodge, and that is now 44 blocked punts in Bobby Bowden's tenure here. Great part of the game of football that Bobby Bowden's teams excel at, the special teams, as Sammy Smith turns it up to the 10-yard line. 40. 32, Paul Moore is checked into the game of fullback. They fake the reverse, and down to the 5-yard line is Keith Ross. It looks like they want to try to get a few more points on the board here with 345 left to go. Second and 5. Touchdown, Paul Moore. Andrews knocks it through, and with 3.38 to go, Florida State leads it by 23. Tallahassee for all the, the folks that have ventured here some 61,000 to watch this game between Michigan State and Florida State as number 30 for Michigan State Highland Hickson 
takes the kickoff and brings it back to the 25-yard line. I know they love you here, and they were really excited about having you here this week and, uh, and you being back. Lee who? Lee Corso, C-O-R-S-O, -S as Hickson takes it. And, you know, when Quinton is playing at Florida State, <laughs> Enos rolls out to the near side with 2.40 left to go, and they say no. Smolenski at South Carolina. Third down and 10. Penalty markers down. Enos is in a load of trouble, and he finally just throws it down before he's knocked. The, the block was on again. Penalty markers down. And Butler lets it go out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Lisa, tell me, what do you think of the Seminoles? And uh, <laughs> come on, be easy on the Sigma Chi, will you? You were a Sigma Chi, weren't you? First and 10, the 34-yard line, and a change in quarterbacks as Moore takes it. That's Peter Tom Willis. He's a junior from Morris, Alabama, who that they faced, of course, against Clemson and Michigan State this week. 145 left to go. Second and eight. And the ball carrier for Florida State, Keith Ross, has a lot of the reserves. The candidate were bringing in the 50th player that he's better than the first guy. Oh, never play a great team. Here's down with 104. By the defense, five-yard penalty. On third and one. You do that because of the weather up there. Mm -hmm. Moore, who got the touchdown earlier, turns around the right side and gets a midfield. You know, you make a good point about uh, this is not a disgrace for Michigan State to come in and get beat. A lot of teams come in here and get beat. At least Michigan State had the guts to come down and play here in Tallahassee. Ross takes it to the near side as the clock continues to run. As Florida State, it was a close game. 13 to 7, they got a field goal, then the interception by Butler took it right in, and that was all she wrote as Bobby Bowden and the Seminoles moved to 3 and 1. George Perlis and the Rose Bowl champion. Michigan State Spartans fall to 0 and 3. A two game series between these two schools, and Florida State wins them both.